Hello, everybody. Well, oh my God, no! <laughs> Fuck. All right. Uh, they might have. They might have hatched while we were transitioning to the next episode. Cause I um. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. For I figured me. It out when you were. Uh, I figured it out. I, yeah. I can think I can figure out the timing there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. All right, that's fine. We needed a new run to get things going, anyways. And the game is loading. Oh, cool. All right. You know what? I was really digging Apis God of Strength there, so I think I'll be him again. I didn't use his invincibility. That might have helped, um, but that's okay. Hiccup. Sorry. Um, all right. So yeah, this game is like like I, I was saying it earlier, um, but th these are the real episodes now. Um, okay. They are. Uh, the um, but th this is a lot like Rogue Legacy, which is one of my favorite games I think I've ever played, like ever. Okay. And, uh, it, it's just where you like you continue every death like basically gets you a little closer to be doing better, doing a lot better, and I really like that. So I don't know. I guess that was it. That's all I had to say. But um. Also, the merchant's open for business. I don't know if that means if he... Oh, here you are. Ain't a fucking time already. Scroll. I grant you a scroll as you enter the pyramid. Risky. Golden scroll. Grant you a good scroll as you enter the pyramid. Deja okay, vu. I... The pyramid will be the same say. as the last time you visited it, but all the gold will be gone. Ah, gotcha. Won't buy that one. Okay. So, uh, I think you mentioned Rogue Legacy before. That's why yeah. I was I was just sitting here with, like, lost in thought all along. Yeah, long. we talked like... about it on this episode. Yeah. But not in this episode, but in this uh, series, yeah. which we did. Uh, we we've had also, like a bad shit start with the first four episodes. I was also thinking. I don't remember. I feel like I remember this game existing. I don't remember if I played it or not though. But I feel like I remember at least hearing about it. A game, game where uh, every time you uh, or where the AI learns as you play again as you play the game. Hello, neighbor. Is what that is. Was that, and was that what that me, was? Yeah, we believe me, we've actually attempted to play that. That, that was on the to-do list for a long time um, okay. for us. I have the alpha and everything, but, like, everyone and their mother did it, and we just kind of never ended up getting around to doing it. And, like, uh, everyone's done the alpha 3 at this point. I've seen how the alpha 3 works, so I just ha I haven't bothered. Um, All right. I was thinking it's... Yeah. It, it's by, it's by uh, Tiny Build Games. Um, they did... Uh, yeah. No time to explain, which I act one of the few indie games I've actually played all the way through. So, um, yeah, and, they, they published it, I think. That, yeah, that is that what I, you're thinking of? Or? I, I don't think it is. I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm looking at the a video of it right now. Um, just what, because like, I, I can't remember what it was. I feel like I remember, I don't think I'm just thinking of Amiibo because that'd be too easy. Uh, like amiibo, amiibo how they yeah. how well how they learn as you fight them so they get like they get more difficult well like, the, the hell neighbor like as you go uh, as you like as you mess up he starts adding cameras and stuff and yeah. traps around to the paths you're taking like they spent a good portion of their time just working on that fucking ai um, i imagine yeah yeah so, like, i would i would i still plan on doing it i'm just waiting for the net like the next thing before we do it because you know just like everyone's seen the alpha 3 at this point so I don't know. Yeah. Even I have. I could make you do it, I guess. Maybe that'd be interesting. Um, that'd be... That would be, I suppose. It's like... A, is, it, is it supposed to be a stealth game? Because Hell Neighbor's a stealth game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, not what I was thinking of. I'm trying to think of... I was thinking of something that's like... I was thinking of something like... Uh, more of a, like a... Kind of like... I, I guess like an Isaac game where like... You do runs of it and at the more runs you do... Like at, the more runs you do, like the more... like. The harder it gets each time, I guess, uh, mm. to like kind of compensate for. For I don't remember. I can't remember what it was. I don't. I don't know. I can't. I, I don't know what I'm thinking of. What do you? Can you give me anything more about the game? I might have heard of no. it. I actually surprisingly don't know a lot of games. Um, I kind like this game. I just kind of this game and Scanner Sombra, which well, I think I'm hoping we'll finish up. Um. I don't know what order will that. I, 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 the only reason we're not doing it right now is because I was just like, fuck it, I really want to play this game. And I haven't. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, you know what, fuck it. If I'm going to play it, might as well get Derek recording it with me if I'm just going to procrastinate like this. Which is what I'm doing. I'm just de-stressing myself. Because I'm fucking stressed out as fuck. But, um... 
I just kind of found this game randomly. Same with Scanner Sombra, and I'm just like, you know what? I want to get this game on a whim. I mostly just got it because it said Immortal Redneck, and I'm like, I and then I saw it was the Egyptian Redneck. You game. have my attention. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you seem like the kind of person that likes Egypt, or Egyptian stuff, I should say. <laughs> As we like, why? Because they're brown? Or no, I wasn't even why. I was just saying. Like... You know, I. I have a, I, I do kind of remember the most about Egypt from history, I think, like compared to everything else I ever learned in history class. I remember a bit about Egypt, but um, I have like no special uh, interest in Egypt. I do have to say I like the, like I like how this game looks, and yeah. um, I think like games like this is um, like this is a really great graphic style, and I don't know if it, like I guess it's because it's Egypt maybe. But uh, disease yeah, that's, decreases enemy that's, health. Oh, cool. That, that's what I was basically saying. It, it, it's a cool aesthetic. Yeah, this is a cool aesthetic. I don't know, like, if there's a specific thing about, like, Egypt games or sand levels that draw me to them in particular or anything like that, though. Um, maybe there is. You did I, also bring attention earlier today when we are talking to uh, the desert level in... Uh, Castle Crashers. Right, Albeit but that, that, a purpose that's... purpose for it, for the, it, but... the, purpose, the purpose for it was... For that is just because, um... That's a really... Like, you, we were talking about Rampage Nights. Uh, spoiler. Um... How <laughs> no, was that? Huh. That's not <laughs> You made it one by saying that. It's alright. That game is, I think, old as shit. So I don't think it matters. Um, but, uh... Think... Ooh, there's a chest up here. Ooh, scroll wild card improves all your stats. Nice, shotgun. dude. I got the shotgun from the fucking uh, whatever it's called, and I picked up something else. I didn't remember what it was. Um, the shotgun from the whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, the redneck. This is the redneck. Okay. Um, I got it from the chest. That's what I was saying. I was trying to say. I think. <laughs> I was um, gonna say. What was it? No, but that that I don't really like. The start. The like the. Architecture that level means nothing to me of uh, the desert level of uh, Castle Crashers. Like, I hope I, not. There's nothing there but sand. I know. I just got pushed into lava, but I'm alive somehow. Um, That's I did, like I didn't get hit. Oh, I made it into the lava now. Oh my god, stop. I hate jump pads. Stop. <laughs> Alright, um, I referenced that because on insane mode, that desert level is a shit. Yeah. And unlike a lot of uh, stuff in insane mode, it, it actually does Same. get harder with more people because you get more of the sand roller dudes, and they're fucking. Yeah. They're fucking. Uh, they're fucking. Yeah, that's it. That's what they're doing. No, but like they're you. they're really they're fucking, fucking annoying to fight in fucking uh, on insane mode because they don't yeah. die and they have like one of the most annoying attacks in the entire game. Because they be they basically become invincible for the duration of it, and you have to continuously keep dodging that, as well as yeah. other attacks and other enemies. And it it with, with more people, it adds more of those fucks to the stage. Um, like if you have four players in Castle Crashers, you will be fighting five uh sand rollers, and that is awful on that desert yeah. stage. And that's just one fight of the it's a beat 'em up. So like there's more than just those. So, fights. Yeah, they, they show. Um, but if you're if you're fighting by yourself, you're fighting two by yourself at one point, and that's shitty. And when it adds the royal guards, it gets shittier, and it's a it's an annoying level. I hate it. Um, yeah, that's level. fair. But do I like that level at all? Not really. I just know about it because it's. <laughs> I really don't. Do I like it? Still no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but this like this, this is this is designed well. I missed all yeah. three shotgun barrages on that one snake. Well. Uh, the, no like, it looks good. Yeah. Um, uh, recently, like, Moody, Mar Moody Marsh Maze from Ukulele, I really like how that world is designed and how that mm. looks. Um, that yeah. one really sticks out to me as extraordinarily I, pleasant. It's, I can't really get a feel, just watching, vi it's, well, watching like, the stream of Ukulele, I yeah. still can't really get a good feel for, like, how the, the, uh, world is. Like, yeah. I'd have to play it to actually get like a good feel of, like how the worlds are set up and everything. So like, right. I, okay. I can't really make a call on which one I like from that. God so. damn it! Go away, snakes! Go away! It's okay. We don't need. We don't. We don't. We don't like snakes in this part of the woods. There's still a frog or two. I, I hear them, but I don't know where they are. No snakes, fools. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Um. Yeah. 
I don't know, but yeah, that that world, Moody Mush Maze, like I re that's definitely one of my all time, I think, favorite worlds. So that's good that I have that because like Tribal Sack Tropics is pretty good, I think. Uh, I just did not care for the ice area. Um, yeah, that's fair, dude. It, with in Banjo Two, uh, for for Banjo Kazooie games overall, it's it's it's, like it's the tough water to me. Temple and Zelda games. Is that what we were um, going to go with it? Like, it sucks, basically. No, I was gonna say, I was gonna say what my favorite like world oh, overall never is. Mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, oh, the um, uh, the, huh, that's a the, little interesting. The uh, terror stiff food of, of terror in nuts and bolts is like the most awful world in any of like those in any of the Banjo Kazooie games. Right. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. The one in nuts and bolts, like the last world. Uh, uh, so the last world, Spiral Mountain. Not that one, obviously. That's the, obviously that's not what I meant. I meant the fucking the something of terror. Oh yeah, the called. dome of terror. Dome. That's actually like I like that what that one's so badly designed. It's so hard to move or just exist it, it's just in to there. Navigate really. It's not. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's necessarily badly designed, but it's like just frustrating to deal it's just, with. It's just. It's just. Yeah. It's very annoying. It's a, very annoying to exist in. Yeah. Also, there's that stupid challenge where you have to drive that vehicle that doesn't have any engines and is only powered by sails up, up like the tree, and that's really annoying. Oh, I don't, I don't uh, remember that one. Oh, I, I, I think I feel uh, like I actually I like I mildly remember it if that makes sense. Like it seems familiar, but I don't know if um, I actually ever encountered it. But uh, the um, yeah, that world sucked. Uh, but for me, honestly, uh, uh, what was it? The, the uh the first world in uh not simple uh was it the acres i think is what it was called yeah i love that it was that really nice was really great it's a really yeah. nice world um it actually uh, i think it was john tron who talked about this um but he he actually talks about how it looks like how that world was designed for a completely different and like a regular yeah. banjo kazooie game oh yeah i've seen i've seen that video you have yeah yeah actually it, it really that was, does that look. was that's i think actually the only thing i've ever watched with john tron yeah, that that and that I honestly will say that definitely seems to be the case, but um, I really yeah. I, I really do appreciate that Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts exists. Um, I do, too. I really it's, like it's it. a, it's a good it's a good game. It's just you know people want Banjo Three, yeah. Like and I would ra I'm glad I'd rather see it with Banjo Kazooie characters. I think even though I I never played Banjo and Kazooie, but I mm. just I can't imagine it with any other characters. If Banjo Three came out and. Uh, along with that, no one would. Or if set, it came, no one would have said a word. After, like there was an announcement yeah. for it or, or like, something like yeah. that, or even just like some hinted jokes at yeah. it, which I well, think I, they, I I think three I think in order to satisfy people, three would have had to come out first, because yeah. like at the end of at the end of two, uh, Grunty makes a remark like I'll I'll beat you in Banjo three. Yeah. So like people had the thought of like, oh shit. I hope to see ukulele uh, uh, screws and um nails uh next <laughs> eight years later we just got eight years after banjo tui we got cars and no 3e so that's why that's why people were so upset yeah and oh no i get that we never, and we never got 4e also we got grunty's revenge but that doesn't exist oh what <laughs> we yeah, got there was grunty's a, revenge but that doesn't exist yeah that was the game boy advance game banjo tui oh huh yeah but i didn't know there was that yeah no good uh <laughs> Oh boy, that's, that's the correct answer. <laughs> well, I oh. didn't. I really didn't know much about. Oh god, oh, I meant to grab health, not but, uh, die. The other oh. world I'd probably say is my favorite. Banjo Tooie game. I hurt uh, myself. Uh, Witchy World in Banjo Tooie. Witchy World is one of the best worlds. The guy at Definitely. work, um, who's watching our ukulele stuff, I will quickly say this. He said, uh, Banjo Tooie was better than Banjo and Kazooie, and at least in his opinion. Yeah, that's correct. They okay. they they fixed a no, they fixed a lot. Of th they fixed a lot of things that were fairly irritating, and they also added a lot. They added a lot that was like, oh. you know, it just added to the game. Really, they they didn't take away. It didn't like take away or anything. Sorry, they didn't do I anything. Wrong. I feel bad about it. I'm like Derek. Um. Anyhow, next time on Spellitons, um, we'll continue through this pyramid of fun or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. Bye bye.